Happy Tuesday. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting blinded over here. It's very sunny and the sun is just right there and it's trying to fry my retinas. How are you? I, I do apologize. I was going to make a video yesterday, but I had the most horrible headache. I had a very stressful day at work yesterday and I ended up with a really bad headache and I ended up just going home. Like I just, I need to just go home and lay down. So I went home, but I didn't lay down because I got home and then I had a bunch of stuff to do and I, I, I didn't get to lay down until like 1030 last night, but hey, it's okay. I feel better today. I did have a funny experience though. I went out last night. It was in the evening. It wasn't quite dark yet. I had to tell you, I was going to make a video about it and tell you, but I still had a bit of a headache and I just, I just didn't feel good. I, um, I went out to water my, my flowers. I have several pots with uh, chrysanthemums in them. Chrysanthemi, chrysanthemums, chrysanthemininiums, and flowers. I had my flowers, you know, and I had them out there and flowers. Up where my dad lives, they say flowers like flares. I think I mentioned before, years ago, when I was first, I'm going up there for one of the first times, my dad's third wife, she passed away. Um, she said they needed to get flares for the church. I'm thinking, what kind of church they go to? That they, I thought they meant like roadside flares. What the hell they need flares for at church? What's going on at this church? She meant flowers. And I, I'm glad I didn't say anything. I would have embarrassed myself because then it, through the context of the conversation, I realized she was saying flowers. But that's how they pronounce it up there, flares. I didn't know. Anyway, I was out there watering my, my flowers. And uh, so I was getting ready to water them. I had watered the ones in the front and then I was gonna do the ones in the back. And I have a watering can in the front and I have a smaller little plastic one in the back. So I don't have to carry it around because I'm, I believe in efficiency, you know, so I just got a small plastic one to put in the backyard. And so it's, it's little and it has this skinny little spout. It's adorable. I bought it at Walmart several years ago for like $2. It is the cutest little watering can you ever saw and it's green. Not that that matters. I just thought I'd tell you. So I I got my, I have it hanging on a hook by the, by the back door. There's a, a plant hook up there and I just hang it. I take the handle and I hang it from that hook. So it had been sitting up there and I reached up and I grabbed it down and the, the spigot is right on the back of the house. So I filled it up with water and now it was getting dark. I couldn't see very well, but I mean, I have a light back there. I mean, I could see well enough. And so I, I turn it up and I started pouring the water out and it stopped like it clogged up. And I thought, well, shit, there must be a leaf or something in there. Cause again, the spout is very skinny. It's a very small opening. And I, I, I looked at, at the end of the spout and I saw something sticking out and I took my, my pinky and I just kind of poked it up in the, the spout, just like poke, like I, I turned it back up. And I just kind of poked at it and I tried it again and it started working fine. So I went ahead and I poured all the water on my little flowers back there and I went to refill it because it's small and I didn't have enough water in it to do all of them. And I went and fill, <laughs> I walked back over to the spigot and so I'm holding it under, you know, I'm, I'm holding it like this under the spigot and I turned it on <laughs> and this little green tree frog <laughs> jumps out onto my hand. <laughs> I said, oh shit. That's what was clogging it up. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I apologized multiple times to that frog because I got to thinking about it. So I, I, I was still holding it. I just put him right up next to the windowsill and I just kind of brushed him onto the windowsill. And he's just sitting there, this little small green tree frog. He just looks traumatized. I said, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were in there. I mean, imagine the, the evening he was having. He's just in the flower, the, the watering can, just chilling, enjoying the evening, you know. And then I come along and I had a hard time getting it off the hook. So I'm like jiggling it around, trying to get it off the hook. And he's like, ah! And then I'm, I'm pouring water in it wide open. <laughs> ah! And then I go to turn it up and it gets jammed down in the spout. And then I'm poking it with my finger. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> this poor frog's like, what the hell? <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> but I stood there for a minute just laughing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought you were a leaf. If I'd known you were a frog, I wouldn't have been poking you in the ass with my finger. <laughs> If you needed a prostate exam, I'm here, I'm here to tell you you're fine. Don't ask me for a referral. <laughs> so, uh, I made sure he got up high enough where Boop couldn't find him because Boop goes out every night after dark and looks for her frog. Now, last, it was over a year ago, one night she went out there and there was a tree frog on the back of the house and she got very excited because she wanted to catch the frog, you know. She couldn't reach it though, it was too high up. She couldn't jump high enough to reach it. I made sure this one was way up too where she couldn't get at it. Cause she'll eat them, she'll catch them and eat them. And then the next night there was a, a tree frog on the sliding door and she, but she didn't see it, it was way up. So I held her up so she could see it. She just starts going nuts wanting to get to that frog and I shouldn't have shown her. Because then after that night, every night, she would go to the door after, just when it turned dark, she'd want to go look for a frog. Every night, she'll go out there, and she, that's what she's doing. I mean, you can watch her. She'll go out the door and turn around, and she's just looking at the back of the house like this, looking for a frog. She, she does it year round. Like, these frogs are not going to be around much longer. I mean, once, once it starts turning cold, these frogs are going to hibernate. They're going to be gone for the winter. They don't hang around. They hibernate. She'll still look for them, though. She'll look for them all winter. All winter last year, not every night, but two or three nights a week, she would go look for a frog. <laughs> so, yeah, she looks for her frog. And if she finds one, if I can't get it away from her, she'll eat it. So, and she eats the whole thing. There's just nothing left. I found bits and pieces of a, a mole on my, on my little concrete pad back there, my little patio. Somebody got a hold of a mole and left me some pieces of it. That was really nice of them. So right now, I am headed to Aldi. My my, old, my younger son asked me if we could have uh, steak fries tonight, and he, well, he likes what I do. I tried this for the first time, and he thought it was really good, and he wants me to do it again. I bought some steak fries at Aldi, and honestly, they're kind of bland. They're, they don't really have a whole lot of flavor to them at all. They're very bland. Um, but I just took some Aldi, some of their seasoned salt and sprinkled seasoned salt on them and, and put them in the air fryer and they were actually really good and he really liked them. He said they were great and he wanted, he asked me if I would make some more so I need to go buy some more. So that's what I'm doing. We're doing that and um, I don't know what we're having with it yet. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe some chicken wings or something. I don't know. I'll figure out something. But... Anyway, I knew I need to get that. And I was kind of thinking about doing a video. I don't know if I can do it this Saturday or not. I'm not sure yet what's going on this Saturday. I'm gonna to try to do it soon though. It's a very simple, it's a cooking video, but it looks really simple. It is a recipe for, um, what's it called? Cornbread stuffing meatloaf. It's a meatloaf that you make with cornbread stuffing. I don't know, it sounds interesting to me. Um, so, but it's very simple. There are not a lot of ingredients, not many steps. It's super easy. But like I've said before, I try to make, I try to make cooking videos that have simple ingredients and they're easy for people who might not know how to cook and maybe they want to learn some basic stuff that they can make, you know, on their own. So I thought that would be, I saw that recipe and I thought that looks pretty, pretty easy. Um, but I don't have the stuff to make it yet. I'd have to go to the store. I could do that though before Saturday. Um, some of the stuff that I need for it, they don't have at Aldi, so I'll have to go somewhere else to get it. But it's simple stuff. We'll see, you need a pound and a half of ground beef, pound and a half ground pork. I don't think they have ground pork at uh, Aldi. Uh, red onion, corn, uh, cornbread stuffing, of course. Um, I can't remember what else. Anyway, I, 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 you know, but I would like to try to do that Saturday. I'm not entirely sure that I'll be able to. It just depends on what's going on. I don't know yet. Um, I have to go pick up my son at school after I get done at the store because he's involved in some extracurricular stuff at school. So I may have to start picking him up occasionally after work. 
Um, my older son can't always do it because he's got work in the evenings a lot. So it's, you know, he works a lot of nights and evenings and stuff. And so he can't do it. But it's going to interfere with my workout schedule somewhat. But I'm not worried about it. I mean, it, you know, it, it's life. It's just part of life. I'll work around it somehow. But I, I do appreciate everybody's nice comments about my um, my picture. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, what was it, Saturday? Yeah, when I went to get my pictures made. Thank you for all the nice things that y'all said. That was really sweet. I didn't get a chance to respond to everybody. I saw the comments. I, I do apologize for not responding to all of them. I've been busy. Well, I wasn't. It's not that I was busy last night, but I had a really bad headache. And I was... I was just maintaining last night. I was just trying to do what I had to do and uh, not much more than that. But uh, yeah, I do appreciate it. Y'all are y'all are just some of the nicest people, I swear. And I just, I love how nice y'all are. It's really great. It makes me feel good. But yeah, I am, uh, I'm gonna go in there and get the stuff. It's Tuesday evening now and this Aldi right here, I don't know about other ones, but this one, the new stuff on the Isle of Shame is out on Wednesdays. Um, and they, But they start putting it out on Tuesday evenings. They may already be putting it out. But they want, they get mad. Like some, the, a couple of people that work here, if you touch any of the new stuff, they won't let you buy it. You cannot buy it until tomorrow morning when they open at 9. Um, they get mad if you touch it or even try to look at it. And they will snap at you and just tell you, you can't buy it till tomorrow. They don't have it fenced off or, you know, no. That, I mean, if you don't know, it's like, well, damn, I wasn't trying to, you know, get one over on Aldi. I just, I just, you know, it's out. It's priced. But you can't buy it till tomorrow. Don't touch it. I don't know. It's just aggravating. I don't know. Oh, they do have those felt uh, laundry hampers again. If you need a nice, lightweight, flexible, wonderful laundry hamper with handles, they have these um, fleece, they're like thick, or not fleece, flannel, flannel laundry hampers, and they're $9.99 each, and they come in any color you want, as long as you want light gray or dark gray, that's your, you, as long as you want one of those two, they got any color you want, and they're wonderful, I bought a couple of them when they had them a little, what well, was about a year ago, but I have discovered that Marty, Marty loves to scratch on the the laundry hamper like a scratching post and he'll get in it and scratch it and he does it to mine i have one my older son has one my younger son didn't want one he has a different laundry hamper um but he's slowly destroying it <laughs> like you can look at it and just see where he's just taking chunks out of it so um he loves it so much i don't want to take it away from him he just he just thinks it's the greatest toy ever that and a, there's a roll, a, a ball of aluminum foil that he loves to play with. That's like his favorite toy. <laughs> he loves batting it around. You know. Um. So, but when I saw they had some more, I went ahead and bought a couple more. So if he does destroy them, I mean, they're only ten dollars each, and I think it would take him a long time to actually destroy it. But I just bought a couple extra and stuck them in the attic, just in case. But they're wonderful laundry baskets. They're really big too, and I love them because they have the handles. Because a lot of times when I'm carrying it either upstairs or down, I got other stuff in my hand, but I can just loop it on my arm and carry other stuff. So it's very convenient, and I just love it. But I do want to take a minute to tell you about the frog and to thank you for all the nice things that y'all said. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, I am going to do... I think I'm going to do a, a video for the other channel showing all the pictures. I'm not really sure how to do it, but I'm... I'm going to try to figure out something so you can see the other pictures too because I did some in that dress that is a, a dress that I bought at Goodwill oh I don't know like a year ago and it fits me perfectly I love it it's beautiful but I have nowhere to wear it so when I was getting ready to go have these pictures made I thought take it with you it's been hanging in the closet for over a year take it with you and do a few pictures in the dress and take some jewelry to wear with it or whatever. I mean, even if you don't have anywhere to wear it, you can wear it for the pictures. So, originally, I was going to just wear it for the pictures and then, you know, donate it somewhere. But after I got done, I thought, just hang on to it. Because you know damn well if you donate this dress, you're going to wish... You, something will come up within the next three months where you wish you had that dress. Just hang on to it. 
because it's pretty, you like it, it fits, and everything is wonderful. Don't get rid of it yet. You can get rid of it later. So, um, I'm, I've, it's, I put it back in the closet. I still have it. So, I did that. I did some pictures in like a long cowl neck sweater and a pair of leggings. Um, oh, and I did some pictures like with my workout clothes on just because I am celebrating, you know, turning 50 and, you know, I've, I've worked hard to get in better shape and I just wanted to try to get a few pictures of that. And I, there are a lot of people and I've had people, I'm not going to say who, make offhanded comments to me about, you know, oh, I know how much you love taking pictures of yourself. I do it because I want to, number one, I do what I want, but it's also because I look back through my photo albums and I don't have many pictures of the women in my family. I just, I don't, because usually they were the ones behind the camera taking the pictures and nobody thought to take pictures of them or they didn't want anybody to take the picture. Oh, my hair's a mess. Don't take my picture. So I don't know. I just wanted more pictures of me. I don't know that my kids will ever give a shit, but at least I can say, well, damn it, you got more pictures of me than I ever had of my mom or my grandmothers or my, you know, my aunts. I don't really have many pictures of them at all. So I did it mainly because I wanted to, because I felt like it. And if that makes me vain, then I guess I'm vain. But I had a great time. I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. And I'll do it again if I want to. I'll go do it again if the notion hits me and somebody's doing a photo shoot and it looks like fun. Hell, I'll go do it again. I don't give a shit. There's nothing wrong with having a little fun and doing something that you want to do. Don't worry about what other people say. If it's if you enjoy it, hey, these are people who don't know how to have a good time. They're the turd in the punch bowl. Don't worry about them. Because there are some people out there who do not know how to. Ha they don't know how to have a good time. And when they see somebody else having a good time, it's like it pisses them off. They can't stand to see anybody else having a good time. So they got to try to bring you down and try to make you feel shame or something. Don't worry about them. They're just sad people in general. I mean, I know people like that. They're just, they're just, I don't know. They don't know how to be happy or they won't allow themselves to be something. Something's wrong with them. I don't know. I don't have any pockets. These pants have no pockets. I'll just carry my whole purse in there. How about that? But anyway, I'm going to go in there and get my stuff and then I got to go get my son. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. Happy Tuesday. Yay! I'm actually going to make it to, well, I may actually make it to a class tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm going to try. I'm going to definitely try. But happy Tuesday again. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.